Hello, everybody. Now let's take a look at problem 4.27. All right, so this problem asks us to design an op amp circuit that performs an averaging operation of five different inputs. We'll call them V1 through V5. So that means V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5 should be added together and averaged. All right, so now that you've seen quite a few different ways of designing op amp circuits, we're going to put a few of them together as a design operation in order to find a way to produce the desired output. So let's think about this in two steps. So the first one is we should add five inputs. And the second step is that we should divide by five. So we might be able to do this in a number of different ways. And if we're clever, which we will be, we'll see that we can do this um, in two steps and that this uh, first step is going to do most of what we need. So first, let's take a look at something that we already know can add five voltages. And it's even in the name, right? A summing amplifier. So we'll, we can look at the table in the textbook and this table is on page 216 in the Ulibi third edition. In this table, it shows you an inverting summing amplifier. So this is great. We can see that if we have three different inputs, we can sum them and get an inverted output. The gain on each one of these, so each one of these input voltage is going to have a gain that's controlled by the uh, actual um, <coughs> um, resistors that we have. So the gain is going to be controlled by the resistors that we have in this circuit. So let's, let's think about how we can design this so that we have the desired output voltage, an inverting summing output voltage. So let's see how we can sum all of these together. And let's also think about if we could, maybe at the same time we sum them together, if we could divide by five. All right, so I'm gonna draw this circuit now. I'm gonna add three more resistors for, or uh, pardon me, uh, two more resistors so that we have five total resistors and five total voltage inputs. And we'll call those resistors R1 through R5, and we'll write that RF there as well. <clears throat> now let's think about this, um, this how we can mod modify the gain so that we get what we want. All right, so we can see that the gain for voltage one is controlled by this RF over R1 resistance. So if we were to set R1 to 5R and RF to 1R, then we could see that the gain is going to be equal to minus R over 5R. All right, so if we were to set these things equal, so where R is just some new resistor value, we could see that the gain here is going to be um, R over 5R, so basically minus one fifth, and that is what this the gain on voltage one is going to be. So if we think about it, right, we want to add five voltages together, and we want the total gain to be one over five, right? So that's the averaging operation. So let's think if we can make gain one, G1, G2, G3, G4, G5 equal to one fifth so that we add them together and divide by five. So we can, we can set R1, R2 equal to R5, and we'll say that that's equal to 5R. So some resistor that's five times larger than RF. So this RF will be equal to R, and each one of these resistors will be equal to 5R. Then if we write out the equation describing the voltage output on this in inverting summing amplifier step, we get this voltage output where each one of the gains is minus R over 5R, or minus 1 fifth. Okay, so just showing now how each one of these gains is going to look in the total equation. And we can simplify it down so that it looks like this, where the voltage output of stage one here is equal to minus R over 5R and the sum of all five of the voltage. So we're doing pretty good, right? We've added five voltages together. And we've actually also averaged them. So right, this is five divided by five here. So we've added five things together and we've divided by five, but hmm, we do have one problem, right? We've added five things together. 
We've averaged them together, but shoot, look at this. The problem is our output voltage is negative. So this summed and averaged them, but we still, we have this negative gain. So can we fix this? Yes, we can fix this. So let's go back to this table that we have and we can see, well, look at this. There's another amplifier uh, that we know about the inverting amplifier. And an inverting amplifier can flip or switch that output voltage from being negative to positive. So we have a negative output voltage. So if we multiply a negative by a negative, we're going to get a positive output voltage. And we're going to, um, so we could get a positive output voltage if we added an inverting amplifier to the last amplifier stage. So let's think about how we can make an inverting amplifier with a gain of one so that our, our division by five is not changed at all. So the gain should be minus one. So looking at this equation, we can see that if we were to set RF and RS both equal to R, then the gain would be minus one and that we could have a stage one input here, two resistors of the same value, and the output would just be the uh, input inverted. So we just have an inverted voltage from the input. So we could just flip that voltage from so that V out VO2 is equal to negative VO1. All right, so let's put this together. We have two stages and we can combine them so that we have a uh, amplifier that adds five voltages and averages them. So stage one we described as this where we have this output voltage that's equal to minus one fifth div, um, multiplied by the sum of the five input voltages. Then we have a stage two that inverts the input stage one, all right? And so if we combine them, let's see, all right. So the output of this stage can be the input to this stage. So we'll just connect them with a line, like a little jumper wire in a circuit. And now at the output VO2, we have a something that sums up five voltages and averages them and gives us a normal non-polarized output. So this circuit could describe our final um, two-stage amplifier. The first stage sums and averages, but uh, unfortunately inverts. Stage two inverts again, so we have a negative voltage and then a negative voltage. Multiply those together, it's a positive voltage. And so the final output is not inverted. We've summed up five voltages and we've averaged it uh, by dividing by one fifth. So thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.